Hi everyone, it's Melanie Mel's Craft Design here on YouTube and Mel's Craft Boutique on Sibet. So today I would like to share with you my second project that I created for a cherry crafting office here on YouTube. So uh, the second project is alter um, a picture frame and uh, I got this uh, picture frame from Michael's and I really like it. Okay, and then as the base, I paint the whole thing with um, this um, home decor chalk and it's a vintage Victorian from folk art. I really love this paint. And um, after that, I just make um, dollies, I mean <laughs> flower out of uh, my uh, dollies from my stash. And then I put this vintage button, Xiang button, and you can also find this button in my store. And then I put this um, resin uh, flower, and I got this flower from Patricia. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. Um, so uh, her YouTube channel is Pat S here on YouTube. Okay, and then after that, I put this um, flower. Uh, daisy flower and then I just put that back pro okay and then um, so all around this I put the same trim that I use for the box and that is uh, this trim okay it's really beautiful beautiful and I love the curve okay so I used that one Okay, and then in here I use the leaves, um, mesh leaf. Um, you can actually find, you also find this uh, leaf from uh, in my store. And then this uh, uh, pearl spray, I actually got it from um, from uh, from this flower. Okay, so all, all I did, I just uh, I just cut some of the spray out and I put it in there like that okay and then this one um, I uh, <laughs> I actually use the Mod Podge um, the stick the one you put inside the glue gun and then I have the mold for uh, this uh, design so I just use that one I actually really like it so cute and then in here I put um, bridal applique from my stash and then this one is um, actually uh, this trim also from my store okay and then I cut it into piece okay that's cute so cute okay so that's that and then um, this one is Oh my goodness, I forget. Um, I think it's either, either Prima or Melissa Francis, but um, I make a mold and then uh, use the Mod Podge uh, stick to uh, make this one. Okay, and then all around it, I just put a flat back pearl trim in white color. And um, in here is my, I use a Martha Stewart mold. To make the butterfly and then on top I just put um, a glitter glue okay just to make it a little bit glittery and then um, I put a fat pack ball on top of each flower and in here I put the crochet flower the one with the pink in the middle okay here is a um, another flower from my stash and I put Faber Pro another uh, crochet flower and this flower is from my store the satin flower and then underneath I just layer some of uh, vintage stories this flower also from my store uh, no <laughs> I'm sorry uh, this one is actually Prima flower from my stash and then the button is from my store okay vintage button and then after that uh, I put this uh, wing okay this wing is actually um, 
what is that um the wing from uh, Tim Holtz so I make a mold and then uh, make a wing okay so uh, yeah and then after that inside I just put the paper from uh, DCWV the Diorgen stack so um, that is the the frame outer frame and then behind I just paint it with the the uh, pink paint okay because I want to uh, I want to make sure it match with the with the a uh, box right so this is the um, outer frame and then after that um, I make the outer uh, clothes pin okay so um, what I did I paint the um, the clothes pin uh, it's actually bamboo clothes pin so it's from bamboo and then um, I paint it with the same paint painted Victorian from folk art and then um, in here I just layer with uh, some of my uh, dolly connector and then uh, I put uh, jute in here underneath okay and then this one is I just use all the leftover from my project like this one is leftover um, trim that I cut from my project and then I put some of the dolly's connector and then put the leftover from uh, the uh, the trim that I cut this trim okay and then after that underneath I put a uh, make a ball uh, yarn from yarn and then in here um, this one I use a dolly connector and then I put this uh, cute uh, satin flower from my stash and then I make a little bow from a uh, leftover um, what is that a uh, lace I have and then this one same thing the dolly connector and I put the uh, crochet uh, flower the one I use on the project and then I put a uh, seam binding my uh, it's really uh, light uh, okay so uh, let me take it so it's like this my goodness so cute I will actually have a second thought to keep it <laughs> I'm sorry Jerry <laughs> but I'm gonna send them all to you okay okay that's so cute oh my gosh and then um so you can use for anything cherry or um i'm gonna make another one for myself and actually i'm gonna put magnet behind so i can put on my refrigerator <laughs> it's so cute so um yes mommy i'll help you in a little bit i hope you know a little bit so um yeah so um yeah that is my my project that i created for cherry thank you cherry i love your um your uh, project too and um, i'm sorry uh this one is let me see this is for this there you go so it should be stand like that and then here this one and that's the box so um so yeah so that is the project that i created for cherry cherry uh, my shabby chic project i hope you like it cherry and thank you everybody for watching thank you for your wonderful comment i'll talk to you soon bye bye